Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to reflect on my 2023 goals and present my 2024 goals. When I looked back at my goals video from last year, I realized that I set a lot fewer goals than I had intended, and some of them, they were a little bit different than I expected. So let's go over those five goals that I had for 2023. First of those was catching up on arcs. You will notice there is a similarity here. There were some months where I did really well on this and I read through several arcs. There were other months where I didn't read any at all. And so I consider this goal mixed success as of if I completed it or not, because I left it to, I have all of these books on my TBR and then if I have any reading room left over, I'm going to get to ARCs. That's not prioritizing reading ARCs. I said I wanted to read for a month to try to get caught up. A few months I did that, most months I did not. So you'll see how I'm dealing with that when I come to my 2024 goals. Goal number two was clearing the oldest books off my TBR on Goodreads. And that would be for the year 2013. There ended up being nine books on that list. I did not end up clearing all of those books off the list. I think I cleared off five books from that list and then there were still four on there, two fiction, two nonfiction. So this is definitely a mixed success. I lost interest with this. These books were not the books that were captivating my attention. Several of them were Sandra Day O'Connor books and I had not great success with that at all. So this is not a goal that I'm going to carry over. I probably will at some point go through some of the oldest books that I have on the TBR, sort it by that list and see if any of them still interest me, but it's not going to be a reading goal for next year. Number three, I mistakenly thought that I set this at two nonfiction per month. No, I set it at three nonfiction per month. I always did strive to get at least two nonfiction per month. And I met that goal, but that wasn't my actual goal. There were some months where I definitely surpassed that. November and December, because I was reading through the memoir list, I read 20 total over those two months. So numbers wise, did I meet that goal? Three times 12 is 36. I probably met that goal. However, I lost focus and um, got the wrong number in my head. So again, a mixed bag on whether or not I met that goal. Number four is to complete at least one series per month. I made sure to do that every single month. And there were some months where I completed more than one series. There were some months where I read through an entire series, such as the Lunar Chronicles or the Kristen Kishore series, the Grace Link series. But it didn't feel like I accomplished as much. I met this goal. I surpassed this goal. But when I was looking at my series list, it didn't seem like I had made any dent whatsoever in the list. And of course I added a bunch. So I am updating how I am doing this particular goal, which you'll see in my 2024 goals. And then lastly, this one is a resounding success. And that was to complete my year long project TBR lists. And so of those, I had Buzzwordathon, I had 10 series to read in 2023, and I had my 23 and 23. I read every single book from that list. Buzzwordathon, I ended up swapping November and December because of the Goodreads Choice Awards project, even including up until the last week with, you know, Sword of Kaigen. I did read every single book on those lists, and I had a really good time. There were a lot of books that I put on those lists that I would not have read other books. And I consider that a resounding success. Hence why, as you've seen in previous videos, I'm doing it again this year. So mixed bag on my reading goals for the year. So we'll see how I can improve on that for next year. Here, without further ado, are my 2024 goals. I will mention that I am going to start my Goodreads goal of 250 books read in the year. This is much lower than what I've been able to achieve both this year and last year. I thought for sure I'd read way more books 
2023 than in 2022, but apparently I read less. But I'll get to those details in my statistics video. So that's a goal, but I always adjust that one throughout the year. So I'm not going to make that an official reading goal for the year. My second goal is a repeat goal, and that is to catch up on ARCs. That means I am going to prioritize reading my ARC copies. I also have helped myself by, in the past quarter of the year, not requesting any ARCs unless they are part of the Rick Riordan Presents imprint. I'll get to that and the reason why in a moment. How am I going to do this? I am going to make sure to read as many of these ARC copies throughout the month as possible. It's going to be a priority what I'm going to get to. See, I'm not putting any numbers on it, but I'm going to make it a priority. I've checked out several from the library. If you've seen my January TBR, actually I think that will go up after this video. I've already filmed it and edited it. I have made a whole selection that I have. I've gotten the physical books from the library. Yes, there are copies that I had that I haven't read yet. I have a whole section on my TBR cart where I'm going to choose from that section and read those throughout the year. And hopefully sooner rather than later, I will get caught up with these books. Next, we have another repeat goal because it was a rousing success in 2022. And it is something that I want to continue with. And that is completing various projects throughout the year. These are specifically the projects that I have planned for this year. Number one, SEASL. Now, did that go as well as I would have hoped last year? No, I have thoughts about that. When I get to my SEASL project again, a little bit later in the year, I will talk more about that then. Uh, the second project is the Good Reads Choice Awards project. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do that until at the end of the year when those are released. I have a secondary goal that is the last thing that I'm going to talk about that will help with that one. Then we have my Buzzwordathon books, my 24 and 24, my 10 series to start, and my Rick Riordan Presents imprint project. Yes, I'm making a whole project of reading through all of the books released in the Rick Riordan Presents imprint line. I have several of those on my TBR shelf. I also am paying attention to the ones that are going to be released and it piggybacks on my catching up with ARCs goal because I automatically get books from Disney Publishing Group now. I don't know how that happened, but it did. And so reading through this line of the books that I don't have physically yet will help me with my Rick Riordan Presents imprint project and also with my ARC project. Next, we have one that was brought on by some things that happened towards the end of the year. I read a lot of books, obviously, and I want to review all of those books, but it came to a point where days would go by and I'd have several reviews stack up. And then I would have this long list of books that I needed to write a review for and just would not feel like doing it. And so it ended up that in most of November and December, if you look at the my reviews on Storygraph and Goodreads, it's basically saying, see my, my vlogs. Because I didn't feel like writing it out again. There were so many books that I was reading. I want to build up that muscle. I want to prioritize these written reviews. And the way that I'm going to do that is by the following. I am not going to pick up another book to read until I have written the review. I'm working on a format because if I have a format for my review, I think it'll make it easier to write. I will not pick up another book until I have written the review. The only exception to that is audiobooks in the evening when I'm reading and cross stitching. Okay? If I finish an audiobook in that evening hours while I'm cross stitching, I will allow myself to pick up another one and start it. But I will not continue in that the next evening until I have written the review, if that makes any sense. So that's how I'm going to accomplish goal number four. Goal number five is to complete and or clear or decide on all of the series that I have started pre booktube, pre starting to watch booktube. I have a video going up probably after this one where I go through all of those series. 
And that means I am going to prioritize every single month, making sure I am either choosing to complete one of those series or make progress in one of those series. That leads me to my next goal. These two goals are kind of combined because my goal, in addition to completing at least one series per month, I want to make progress in at least one series per month, ideally two. My stretch goal is making progress in at least two per month, but bare minimum, I want to complete and make progress in at least one series per month. So that's a total of, of two series, either completing or making progress in. That is going to help me with the goal I mentioned just before of making my way through all of the series that I started before watching and then producing my own booktube videos. My last goal is a little bit more nebulous, but it has a purpose. And that is to help me with completing one of my other project goals. And that is the Goodreads Choice Awards. There were several books on there that I knew were super popular early in the year and didn't pick them up. I had even had copies of several of those. And it would have made it a little easier if I had spaced those out throughout the year and actually read them throughout the year as they came up. So my last goal for 2024 is to prioritize new release fantasy. And the way that I'm going to do that is instead of just putting those books that seem popular on booktube on my want to read list, I'm going to put a hold on them through the library or I'm going to purchase a copy if it's a subsequent book in a series that I plan to read because I've liked the series and I've already read it. So there you go. There are my reflections on 2023 goals and my reading goals for 2024. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.